Okay, guys. So just to recap, in our last video, I presented a Cuisinart air fryer to our viewers, and pretty much. The, it wasn't a hard contest. It was really you just had to be subscribed to the channel. You had to like the video and comment your favorite aspect of this beautiful custom house that Ali and I collaborated on. I designed, he built, and now it's styled going on the market. So you definitely don't want to miss that video because the comments from you guys are just going over the roof. Everyone has something to say about it, and let me tell you, it's all positive. So make sure you check it out. And now we are going to choose our winner together. The names have all been entered in, and we have this little app, this website, Wheel of Names. Okay, so I'm going to tap the screen, and I guess a name is going to pop up. We have a winner, and it's favorite A. Favorite A, thank you for this amazing comment. I'm gonna read it out to you guys. Love everything. Faves black and white pillows in the living room. Please tell me what the fabric is called. I'm gonna check on that and get back to you, obviously. Panda fireplace surround. Love the exterior. Kitchen is fantastic. Office is a dream. Powder room cabinet and mirror is exotic. Overall, absolutely fabulous house. And that is an absolutely fabulous comment. Thank you, Favorite A. Congratulations on your new Cuisinart air fryer. Now for my next surprise. Hold on one second. Don't go anywhere. And hello, guys. So let me tell you, this packaging is not so light. It's actually quite heavy. <laughs> but I'm so excited to show you guys what's inside. I haven't seen it yet either. All I know is that we have started a collaboration with this amazing company called Bowl and Branch. They are a Canadian company. I'm not going to give away too much, but I just want us together to open this package because in my next video, I'm going to be showing you this product and it's going to be at the cottage. So I can't wait to do that. Let's go for the first package. I'm always interested to see how things are done with these companies and look at this beautiful boxing. Look at the package this comes in. I mean, if you're looking for quality bed sheets, these are definitely it. They are organic and this company, 100% organic and their bed sheets are made in India. There's something even more special about this company and that is the fact that they're 100% fair trade and they invest so much into their farmers and their quality of life. Here we go, you have a little laundry bag that you can put your linens in. Guys, I love this, oh my goodness, this is absolutely so luxurious, so beautiful. These are the king size pillowcases and we got them in the stone fabric because it has the little like a lining going across it and that comes on the bed sheets and the pillowcases. Beautiful blanket. Oh wow, this is absolutely stunning. Bowl and branch, guys, check this out. It's a waffle bed blanket and it's perfect because it goes with the stone lining that they have here. This beautiful detail is absolutely stunning. Very beautiful match. I can't wait to use this on my bed and show you guys how it looks. Done up nice and crisp and beautiful and ironed. Make sure you tune into that video. And if you're excited to see these products on my bed, make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you get to see it. And now on to a reveal of the styling project that we did at this beautiful luxury custom house in Toronto. So guys, I'm gonna tell you because most of the properties that we do are pretty massive. And this one is not, it's a 25 footer. And I would say it's about an entry level size for a Toronto house to do a custom luxury house like this one. And I would say this house 
does have a little bit more details than your average custom house because they've done such beautiful details in here like the wallpaper i feel like this is absolutely stunning it's so bold it's so powerful then we have the black countertop with our vessel sink everything is done in black i love the finishes here and then they brought in some wood and i love this because from far actually it looks like it has uh, like a crocodile skin but it's not it's actually fluted on the wood so that's a really cool vanity so this is the powder room we have a few stairs up to the living room and dining room which is also open concept which is fantastic for this size home you don't want too many walls because you're already a little bit tight and the space is a little bit more confined so you want to make it as big and airy as possible like i always say here we have the living room we did our beautiful sofa it's done in a gray like a suede material it doesn't have any sheen to it which i love because without the sheen i can use it in more contemporary or modern homes with the sheen makes it a little bit more transitional traditional which is also beautiful but again you got to be careful of the materials and fabrics you're using with it so we did a gray and beige rug, eight by 10, brought in some brass to accent off of the warm tones that we have going. And then on this side, we did our beautiful shelf accent chairs, which again, I use these everywhere. I use them in traditional homes, transitional homes, contemporary homes like this one. And one of the features I love about this room is this fireplace, because when you walk up the stairs, First thing I saw was this wall, and it's such a nice feature to have if you don't need that much seating. Because if you do need seating and you are doing a custom house, consider not doing a fireplace and having a sofa here. So that'll give you an, an additional three to four seats to have in the living room. And then we go into the dining room here. Again, it's open concept, but because of the size of the house, I wanted to do a glass because I felt that you needed that break between all of the wood paneling and all of the uh, stone work that's done. Because guys, this is the dining room and you have something like the living room fireplace going on here. At first I thought it was a fireplace, but then obviously there's no insert in here. So this is more of like a display center. I would say for your bottles, you can have your wines here. You can put like whiskeys and use it as like a serving station, which is a great idea. I mean, instead of just having a simple wall, they've gone a little bit more upgraded and they've done the wall unit with the stone and they put in some wallpaper. So this house has a lot of the brass details, which we brought in with our furniture and our artwork. And you will see it in the wallpaper detail here as well. It's really beautiful. I feel like it really warms up the space. So they've done like a nice, actually pretty cool wallpaper. It's like a vinyl, but it has a little bit of like a tweed look to it. You guys can't see the detail, but it has a little bit of the tweed effect. Looks very commercial, I feel. I like it. Nice, good for a tall person. So this will take you up and will take you down, which honestly in a 25 footer house, I haven't seen many homes with an elevator, but I think it's great they did this. Again, you got to consider your area. Are you catering to the elderly? Are you catering to people with little kids? Because something like this would be very useful. So then we come into the kitchen. Guys, this is one of the more bold kitchens that I had the pleasure of styling. I love it when they bring in black, whites with the golds and I feel like it gives it so much dimension instead of having everything be white and light and bright the dark actually gives contrast to all of the white that's going on and what they've done is with the stone in the back the countertop and backsplash it's like a flowing uh, design where you don't have the break and they've book matched it, which I think is fantastic. To my fellow stagers, consider this as a walkway area. You don't want to be blocking, so you don't want anything bulky coming out. Do something underneath the cabinet so it just tucks in but finishes the look as well. I didn't do anything too heavy because I wanted to show off this stunning detail in the bar in the island because they have a little cutout here as like a display so you can put some nice vases in there if you want to put some white um, you know plates and cups and that sort of thing just to accessorize 
or just do nothing at all and let the lighting do its job. But they have beautiful fluting here done in the MDF. Guys, this is a lot of work, but it really, attention to detail right here. This is what I'm gonna say. Every corner of this kitchen has something to present. So then you come to this side, which typically in a house like this, in this area, they would have done a chef's desk. And what that is, is like a workstation in the kitchen where you have like, you can put a monitor, you can put a chair, do some work, especially if you don't have an office in a 25 footer. But here they did it almost as like a serving station. So you don't have the desk area, but you have a lot of cabinet space. And I feel like it's very important in the kitchen to have enough storage space. So this is what we have here and we've accessorized with our bowls and moss. So one of the other important things that I always point out in smaller homes is to always make sure you have a sitting area in the kitchen because it is essential, especially when you're trying to sell a property. It is considered one of the more practical and more used space in a house. And if you're not showing it, people are always going to wonder, well, where's the breakfast area? We were able to do a glass table, nothing too bulky, nothing too solid, just to kind of flow out, right? You want it there to be a continuity. You don't want any solid pieces, especially when you have a sofa right behind it. And we did our light color suede chairs with the brass details, again, continued throughout the house. And, you know, sometimes I come into homes and their lighting is not centered, but here we got really lucky. The builders did a fantastic job making sure everything is lined up. So we didn't have any issues when we were setting up this station right here. So I want to point out this beautiful wall unit here, guys, because this I feel like is a work of art on its own. You have the book matched uh, fireplace here with the same stone matching with the back counter area in the kitchen and then the wall unit look at this design this cut out here and the inlay of lights that they did adds so much detail to the room even if you don't have accessories it has so much shape and sculpture to it that it feels like a piece of art just on its own and you don't need to do much. You could just fill it up with books and it'll look just as nice. The builders were very smart in the way that they laid out this space because it allowed me to put a full size sofa, two accent chairs, eight by 10 shag rug, coffee table, two end tables. Nothing is too bulky, nothing is standing out. And I feel like it worked out really well. One of the other things I wanted to point out to you guys is the detail in the ceilings of this house because coming in from the foyer all the way to the living room dining room kitchen area where i'm standing right now even they have the vaulted ceiling here and they did a darker paint color so doing something like this is really fun but i feel like you need to have the right buyer for it because it is a little bit more trendy and typically people like their white ceilings but i mean when you see something like this already laid out for you it should inspire you guys for your house. If you guys want to do something different, consider your ceilings because that's all in your eye view. When you're looking at the room, you also see the ceiling details. So I feel like it actually looks really nice. So I've noticed that my viewers are actually getting some interest in the Like to Know It app. And guys, let me tell you something. It's one of those things that we recently came across, but it's the most well invented website that I have come across because it really allows you to have access to everything that I use in my styling process in my styling projects like these accessories I mean we have bowls there are um, little you know just like little accessories that you can put around in wall units on end tables on nightstands on your coffee table and we actually have almost like uh, a layout of each room and then we pick and choose the accessories from like to know it we put it in a collage for you show you the finished product and then let you know where those pieces are that are tagged and you just go on the link and you can buy them for your own house. So yes, you do have access to everything that I have going in my projects. You just need to get on the Like to Know It app, find us there, style with Sanas, and get inspired.
Talk about making an impact in your staircase. I mean, how elegant is this, guys? This is a modern look. But with all of the warm materials that they've used here is actually giving me hallway envy, I would say. So what they've done here is they've done wood paneling. Now this wood paneling is the real wood paneling because this right here is all stained. It's not painted, it's stained. So the process of this is way different than doing just like a finished paint job because you have to choose your stain color, make sure it's matching your floor. And then what they did here was they gave it grooves, kind of lines going across, which gives it a nice contemporary look. And the most exciting part about all this is this centerpiece right here. So this is all tiles that they've put together and each one is going in a different wave direction. So this is definitely a conversation piece. And I feel like if you have guests, or people coming through your house, walking downstairs alongside the hallway here, this staircase, you just kind of look at it and go, oh my goodness, this is really grand. And it really is, they did a fantastic job. Another great feature that they've done in the hallway here is they've put in pathway lighting. And that's fantastic because at nighttime, if you need to go downstairs to grab something, you don't have to turn all of the lights on in the house or all of the pot lights around here because as you see, there's quite a bit going around. You can just turn on the pathway lights and it'll guide you down to your destination. The master bedroom is a pretty spacious room. And what I love about this room is that they made my job easier and did a beautiful feature wall here with this beautiful velvet fabric that I absolutely love. I think it's stunning. And it has like a chevron look going down with the side panels and they did wallpaper in between to kind of break it up, which is fantastic. Most people do the wall to wall paneling, but here they've broken it up with the wallpaper and they put in their wall sconces. And actually it's nice because the wallpaper has like a, a back, like a goldish background and the light fixture is actually made to match the wallpaper. So it kind of looks muted, but not really. You still see it because of the glow that it's giving. Beautiful, love it. We did a king bed. We did our bedding, lots of pillows, make it look nice and plush and comfy and luxurious with a lot of layers. So once you guys go and look into Bowl and Branch, you'll notice that they have the duvet covers that you can order or the blankets. So this is how you can set it up. You just kind of come over the bed sheets and you drape it on and you keep layering and layering like we did here. So we have like one, two, three layers going plus the pillows. And then we did a bed to finish off the bed, which I love and it's neutral. I love to use this in foyers. I love to use it at the end of the bed to finish off the bed. Cause I don't like, I mean, even if you have the side rails going on the bed, it's still incomplete without something like this. Given that you have the size for it, obviously, I'm not asking you to clutter up your room. It's just that, you know, just finishes off the bed nicely. So another great feature in this room is a fireplace. Oh my goodness, guys, like in Toronto, it gets cold here in the winter. So to have something like this is absolutely genius really closes up the room, finishes off the room really well, because if you didn't have this, I mean, you could do a wall unit for more storage space if you need it, but they have a massive custom closet here that they don't need that. So I think this is a beautiful feature to bring into your master room if you have the space for it. So then we come into the principal ensuite, and I love this because they did Oversized tiles, we have 24 by 24s going here and it's done in like a honed finish so there's no sheen to it. And we have the black countertop, the beautiful white paneled vanity. All of the details here, everything is just flowing so nicely together because you guys saw this same pattern here downstairs on the main floor. And we have the black finishes on the hardware. I mean, everything is really fantastic here. Love this bathroom. We have an oval tub here facing the backyard. Definitely need some blinds and some curtains. And then on this side, guys, we have our seamless bathroom here. I mean, I haven't seen this design 
very often because it's usually frosted or it's an MDF door. And then we have a stand up shower here, same tiles as the floor in the principal ensuite. And we have marble. Actually, this is more of like a porcelain. Yes, this is a porcelain. So this is a copy of a marble stone, but it's actually porcelain. And we can get into that later because there's a whole thing going on these products. And then they have the black hardware. I'm going to make sure not to turn that on because I'm definitely standing under the rain rain head. <laughs> I had such a fun time going through everything with you from our winner giveaway to our bowl and branch collaboration and then obviously the styling of this beautiful luxury home that we stayed and let me tell you something guys you need to go and subscribe right after this because i'm going to be showing you the bowl and branch bed setup at my cottage and you don't want to miss that so make sure you subscribe and you get notified for the next video because it is coming up next week. And congratulations again to Favorite A on the Cuisinart Air Fryer. I'm so excited for you. We're gonna have so many more giveaways coming up. Just make sure you guys subscribe. And if you haven't already, check us out on Instagram, at Style with Sanas. See you guys next time.